In September of 2007, Don Amaro walked off his job as a hardwood floor installer and set out to pursue his, his music career full time. And it turned out to be a very good move. Today, with numerous number one hits and awards, including Aboriginal Songwriter of the Year at the Canadian Folk Music Awards and Male Artist of the Year at the Canadian Aboriginal Music Awards, Don is definitely making his mark on Canada's music his, um, industry. And we're happy to have him here on 100 Huntley Street. Don, welcome mm -hmm. back. Hi, thanks. <laughs> thanks for having me. Good to have you. Now, this is your, your latest album, Don, uh, yeah. Heart on My Sleeve. Yeah. And this is the number four album, right? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, It's been a long time kind of building it up. And I've actually gone back to kind of an older way of doing it. I've produced it myself. Oh. In the last couple of albums, I've, I've had hired a producer, which was fantastic. But the reason why I called this one Heart on My Sleeve is because I felt like it's more of my voice and more of my story more than ever before, because when you have other people and producers involved, it, it, it sort of ch becomes their story too, but this one I really wanted it to be my story. So. And your story is quite unique mm. in that you grew up on the rough side <laughs> yeah, in Winnipeg. I did, I did. You could, your life could have gone a totally different direction. Very much so. Why didn't you get involved in all that was going on? A friend of, of mine, uh, his name is Dave White, he was in a band called the Dust Kickers. Uh, we, were, we were coming back from a show last night and uh, we were talking about this and, and I said, you know, I, I can only say that I think it's God's grip on my life and that's, mm -hmm. that's one thing that I credit it to because I, he asked me, well, why, why didn't you get into the other things that, and, and fall into those traps? And I said, I, to be honest, I, I don't know. I, 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 all around me, my friends, family, brothers, and people kind of fell into those traps that, you know, drugs, drugs and alcohol, all that stuff, you know, and um, I, all I can liken it to is, is that God had, had a hold of me. And, and I, I, some people might say, well, didn't he have a hold of your brothers and didn't he have a hold of those other people in, in the community? And I just think we all have a unique and individual story, and he wanted to use me this way, and, mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of what brought me to, to doing this. And, and, you know. and he used other yeah. people in your life as well. Absolutely, yeah. Someone, a high school teacher that kind yeah. of encouraged you to go into the music direction. Yeah, she, uh, her, her name is Sophia. She, um, she was uh, and is uh, an incredible person who, uh, we don't see each other quite as often as, as I, I would like, but, but she's always been a person to, kind of point me in the right direction and, and, and steer me clear of those sort of pitfalls that, uh, you know, uh, I'm quite a bit older now, but, but at 16, 17 years old, you know, it's easy to fall into those traps without having somebody there as a mentor kind of guiding you along. And, and, mm -hmm. and I've had a few in my life that, and she was definitely one of them. Like, right down to the point of like when I had blown out running shoes and I was on the football team and I didn't have good shoes, she actually went above and beyond and went and helped me get some shoes. and. Yeah. Which not not many teachers would do, and and, uh, and not that they should. I mean, not that uh, most teachers should go out and buy their kids shoes now. But uh, um, it was definitely something that that just showed me that there's yeah. there's people looking out for me. So, yeah. well, it it usually uh, in every person's story. We know we hear it a lot on mm -hmm. 100 Huntley Street as people tell the mm -hmm. story. There's usually someone who yeah. who took uh, showed that extra love, that extra mm -hmm. attention, that really made a difference in their life. Uh, talk about when you were at. Uh, installing hardwood floors <laughs> and then yeah. all of a sudden uh, you know you made the big change uh, to go full-time into music. You just kind music. of put yeah. your hammer down and say okay <laughs> enough I'm of done. this. Yeah. Well my boss looked at me and he, he could see I didn't I didn't look happy here I was probably dragging my feet and looking miserable on the job and uh, it's kind of like playing Tetris all day with doing hardwood floors which is okay some people <laughs> might like that but for me I, did, I knew it wasn't what I wanted to do and and he said well what do you want to do and I said, I think I want to. I want to be a musician. I've been playing for ten years, kind of at home and to my friends. And I said, I really wanted to give this a shot. And he said, and I, I figured he was going to say, Don't be stupid. This is a guaranteed paycheck. You know, you, 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 it's a dumb move. But he said, Well, why? What are you waiting for? So he basically was the one that said, Put your hammer down and get out of here. You know. And but he also gave me a great oppor opportunity. He said, If that doesn't work out, I got a job waiting for you here. So and he's been a huge support to me ever since. So. Mm. And as they say, the rest is history. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And what has the, the role of faith and your relationship with God um, mm. had an impact on your life? Yeah. Well, in my life, it, it, it grounds me. Like I say, he's had a grip on me ever since I've, I've recognized that God is part of my life and a part of who, my, my makeup. Um, and uh, uh, in my music, you know, it's not so... It's not, it's not praise and worship music. My music, I always say, is God-breathed. He's, he's kind of in everything that I am and do and the way that I live, and, and it's just there. It's, it's, it's present, and, it, and, and this, this particular album has a real love vibe to it. It sort of takes you on this journey. I, I really hope with this new album, too, that people will take it, listen to it, grab a cup of coffee, sit by a window on a rainy day, 
and just listen to the story because it really does take you from one place to the end and and uh, and I hope that people will, will go on that journey with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For sure. Uh, now, you're going to sing a song. Yeah. And uh, maybe talk a little bit about the, the song. First, the name of it is? Mm -hmm. It's called Love Will Find A Way. Okay, um, it's from the new album. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and this one was inspired through tragedy, actually. Um, my my brother and sister-in-law um, lost their baby um, at, at five months in the womb. Um, and they, they, they so were ready for this baby. And, uh, and, and I didn't have words. I didn't know how to express my my care we we cried and hugged and, and shared shared in that sorrow together but this song was kind of my way to encourage them and it's called love will find a way and it's about literally that like just sort of resting in the love of god and 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 and, and in that in that love that that things will sort of find find their way to be free of the, the pain and sorrow so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know it's something we, we forgot to do earlier is to show a picture mm. of uh of you Speaking uh, of yeah yeah yes, I have a son with, with yes your, yeah my son oscar son. yeah there he is. <laughs> and your wife is taking the picture. Yes, your she wife is. Pam. Otherwise, That's why uh, she's not in the picture. We, we, har as we have well. hardly any photos of the three of us just because one of us is holding the camera and the other one's. You know, <laughs> it happens. It yeah. happens. You're also uh, featured in a documentary that mm -hmm. uh, Crossroads mm -hmm. has uh, put together, part of our Canada Heart and Soul series. Yeah. Uh, and this one's called Our Home and Native Land. Mm -hmm. And so we're so glad that you we agreed to, be, to be featured in that. I'm excited to see how it all comes together. Yeah. Sure. And it'll be, uh, it'll be airing early next year. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm.